Thank you.
Well, what's troubling you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. One of the Neuhof stable boys, a, a lad they called Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Why choose Merhaya? It's somewhat at the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there, a fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. I see. What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Take care.
Yeah. from home. I better get back before Sir Radzig sends out a search party. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Good day to you. 
I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin of my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Rate. Good luck to you. What do you want here? Pop it or I'll call a guard. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? That'll be Le Bosch. Gallo's bait if ever I saw one. His place is at the end of the village next to the stream. Take him and welcome. Goodbye. Good luck then. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. If that's what you call nothing to see, I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and... I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Who was Limpy Lubos? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. 
He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Another thing about Lubos. My respects to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lypa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. That man Lubos who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Good day to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. That man Lubos who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. Do you know anyone Lubos used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. That's all. Thank you. Take care now. God be with you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course, ask away. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. That's all. Thank you. Farewell. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? 
There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time, and then yesterday he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Do you know what Lubos was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Do you know who Lubos used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. That's all. Thank you. Good luck then. I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast, and lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why, of course. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately he started talking to the parish priest of all people. That's all. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now... Of course. That's all. Thank you. Take care now. I've come in the name of... Ask away. That's all. Good luck, then. I've come in the... Ask away. That's all. Good day to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you? Well, what do I care? Ask. That man Lubos who was murdered, what was he like? He was a strange one. Always drinking, bad-tempered, Lord knows how he made a living. Well, maybe now I've got an idea or two. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? I didn't see much of him lately, not even in the tavern. Not till yesterday in church, as it happens. Do you know what Lubos was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home at all. Wait, are you saying he... Jesus! Do you know anyone Lubos used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? I really don't know. As far as I know, he had no kin. I never saw him with anyone. That's all. Thank you. Take care now. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of... I don't know anything about it, but ask all you want. That's all. God be with you. Good day to you. What do you need? I've come in the... Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young... That's all. Farewell. I've come in the name... I don't know how I can help you. That's all. Take care. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Judas. 
Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Nothing here. Nothing unusual. A bed, 